If you have clicked on this video, it just means one little thing is that you are a crazy, addictive physical media collector. And for that, I say cheers. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Diego here from Real Horror. I'm so excited to show you my collection because I have so many different kind of films. 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, steelbooks, slipcovers, so any kind of physical media, basically. And just before we start with the tour, just remember one little thing. If someone criticizes that you collect physical media because they tell you, you just can stream it, you just can watch it on TV, why do you own it if you're not gonna watch it every day? Tell them two things. The first thing will be, you can't sit with us! And the second thing will be, do you buy clothes, right? So, do you wear the same clothes every day? No, right? It's the same thing with movies. Simple. Don't let anyone criticize your hobbies. If your hobby is collecting movies, keep it like that because we have to keep physical media alive. So we're gonna start from the top shelf of my collection and we're gonna go to the bottom now. And as you can see, this angle is quite weird, so I apologize, but it's because I struggled so much to have the tripod in this position. So you're gonna see a lot of my hands. So if you have a hand fetish, you're welcome. So, as you can see, I own all of the Conjuring Universe movies, one of my favorite universes of all time. And I also am a sucker for this kind of cars, these, etc. As you can see, I owned my favorite franchise of all time. And fun fact, this DVD is like one of the first... Okay, I think I need to get that car out of the way. Holy shit! I'm sorry for that. And as you can see, this is one of like the very first DVDs that came out. And I just love this because look at that color. Look how old this is. I absolutely love this. I absolutely like, look at the color palette, etc. I love this kind of, and look at that sound. Anyways, we're gonna get moving because otherwise this video will be five hours and As you can see I also own the whole Saw franchise and I know you might be wondering Tiago, you say you never owned Jigsaw and you're right, but it was really bothering me that Saw was not completed So I just had to get it and this was a Halloween collection edition. So that's pretty cool. I like the cover like, I don't mind rewatching this film now that I own it. And I'm sure every collector struggles while putting their DVDs back. Ah, uh, there we go. So, I also owned the Grash trilogy, the Remix trilogy. And this is the Turkish, Turkish edition. My boyfriend gave this to me like two years ago. And I absolutely love that. That's basically how you say the crash in Turkish, in case you didn't know. So yeah, free language course with me, in case you're wondering. That's how you say crash in Turkish. And I also have the Hostel sequel, Slipcover. And I might cover this trilogy in the upcoming future, because these are like summer movies. I hate the third film, but the first two films are quite cool. And by the way, I'm also a wrestling fan, in case you didn't know, and that's like the title that I own, so yeah, that's pretty cool too. So as you can see, we're gonna start with the second part of my shell from my collection. And as you can see, I divided my films into white, grays, yellows and blacks. We also have red and blacks, oranges, yellows, red and black again, white and black, blue and black, and then whites. I'm just gonna take some movies out of this collection just to show you which ones I found pretty unique, which ones maybe I haven't seen, and maybe hopefully you will discover new films. So the first things first is I have never watched this film. I know, crucify for me, I deserve it. I just haven't had the chance to watch this. I own it because I'm just really curious. I love uh, Zack Snyder. So I'm just really curious to see his touch in the horror genre. So I'm really curious about this. And as you can see, I own classics such as Dead Silence, Cabin in the Woods. This film is from 2020. 
absolutely underrated like i don't know why people have forgotten about this film i blame the pandemic but if you haven't watched this i totally totally recommend it i also own stuff like the crazies house at the end of the street also the orphanage hugely underrated foreign film if you haven't watched this i absolutely recommend this and i also love these double discs dvds i think they're pretty unique and they don't do this anymore so it's good to have the nostalgia with you oh, okay and also i would like to take this movie because i have never watched this and i just saw this in the possessed by horror channel this is like about gaming it's early 2000s so i'm just sold i know this is gonna be hella cheesy but i actually don't care and i'm so excited to own it like it's a classic dvd let's say now this uh like i said before we're back in the lessons with tiago with real horror this is how you say happy death day in turkish basically uh, my boyfriend gave me this too and i absolutely love this because i think it's pretty unique like you don't see this everywhere so i'm really glad he gave me this and also he gave me this film and i absolutely don't know anything about this film it's called ruskin i think it's a turkish horror film i think it's quite gory by the look of the poster so i'm really curious to check this movie out let me know if you have known about this film i'm really curious about it another film that he gave me is this film it's called pathology i think this film is quite gory too because I, it takes place like in a hospital so i'm really curious about it i have never watched it but he just gave it to me so i'm really happy about it like anything to own any kind of film so yeah i'm really curious let me know if you have watched this film as you can see i have titles like black christmas zombieland 28 weeks later wolf creek movies hugely hugely underrated and I want to talk about this film Audition, which I know is pretty much popular but this is like a special edition because look at the amount of special features that it has like I absolutely love this and this is like a double cover let's say this is from Arrow Video which like we love them I absolutely love this film I think it's one of the best 90s films ever and one of the best Asian horror so I absolutely recommend it <laughs> I also have classics such as Snakes on the Plane, The PH Chef, Urban Legend, Cabin Fever, The Runes, Stepfather, uh, When a Stranger Calls, Valentine. I also have this film which I have never ever seen. But I'm just curious about it because I know most of the cast. Like I know she was in Drunk Turn, he was in Pretty Little Liars, he was of course The House of Wax and Friday the 13th. So yeah, I've heard about that this movie is extremely cheesy, the quality is horrible, but I'm sold because I love 2000s, this is a DVD, so I'm here for it, like I actually don't mind. Oh, Alright, so we also have uh, Shrooms, which I actually haven't seen too, Faculty, I actually haven't seen this, Triangle, Funny Games, the original, which I'm so glad I own the original. Uh, let me know if you have watched this film. I absolutely adore it. One of the best home invasion films ever. And I also own the remake. And as you can see, I'm struggling right now because the amount of space. <laughs> and this is the original, the remake, sorry, uh, with, the, with the queen Naomi Watts. I like this film so much. I actually haven't rewatched them in a long time, so I cannot really tell which one is my favorite. But by what I recall, I think it's the same film. And the director directed both films, so yeah, that was weird, but I'm here for it. I own both of them. So as you can see, I own some Blu rays. I will show you more Blu rays later on on the video. So I own the whole Twilight franchise. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite non horror franchises ever. Lights Out, of course, like it's a classic right now. Signs, absolutely masterpiece. Quiet Place, half of the Fast and Furious franchise. I own the other films that I will show you later. Don't Breathe 1 and Don't Breathe 2. And also, as one of my favorites ever, Get Out, Invisible Man, 
three of the Purge movies. I will show you the other ones to eat once. And this film, I actually haven't seen this too. And uh, my boyfriend gave it to me, so we need to thank him because he has given me a lot of films that I have never watched. So I'm really curious about this. I have no idea what this movie is gonna be about. This, he gave it to me in December. I think it looks like a slasher kind of film, but there is only way, way to find out. Train to Busan, absolutely masterpiece. And these two rec films, like one of my favorite horror franchises ever too. If you haven't watched these films, please, please, please go. And Rick 1 and 2, they are the perfect duo to watch one after the other because this movie takes place 10 minutes after the end of the first one. So it's the perfect combination. And as you can see, I own this beautiful, beautiful Annabelle handmade design made by one of my friends. I absolutely love this, it's perfect, it's a masterpiece, I love it so so much, so thank you. Now we are back to the third part of my collection, so as you can see I have this beautiful mug about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I absolutely love it. I also have these, and this one, poor her, she's broken, she's broken her leg, so I'm just, I need to take care of her because, bless her, but well, yeah, the perch. As you can see by the titles, I own quite a few classics here. I actually have never seen this film, so I'm really curious about it because a lot of people have recommended this to me. It's fun footage, apparently it's gross, it's gruesome, it's gory, so I'm here for it because as you can know, I love gory. Oh my god! This is so we have a few classics, we also have my favorite horror film of all time, I absolutely love it for so many biased opinions. The Strangers duo expect a comparison of these two films and to celebrate the upcoming film. I also have The Collector, The Collection, which by the way, I think this film is hugely, hugely underrated because I think it's the perfect sequel to the original. I love both films and nobody has talked about this film and I honestly don't know why because I actually love it and it's very gory so if you are into gore, this will definitely be for you. And I also own this classic hereditary one's Miss Cold, but not the remake, the original. So I actually love this film too. One of the one of my favorites. Asian horror film, super 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 unique for the time that it came out. So we also have Halloween, we also have this film that I don't think many people have talked about this, and I actually really like this film because I think it's very unique, I think it's very, the practical effects are insane. This movie is from 2006-7, look how cool the red cover is and if you like garbage stuff, if you like one location films, this is definitely for you. We also have this one, we also have the Insidious franchise, fun fact, my boyfriend owns this film on Blu-ray so we have the DVD version and the Blu-ray version. And this is the second part of the movies that we just watched. So I have the whole Ring franchise collection. I absolutely have to show this cover because this is one of the, my favorite items that I own in my collection. Like look how sick this is, you know? As you can see, it says collector's edition. This is the original Ringu movies. And this is absolutely insane. Like, look at that. I love this. And this is basically how it looks. So we have, it's a lot of info. It's all of in English. And we have the first three movies. So Ring, Ring 2, Ring 0. And these are like special features. I absolutely love this book set. And one of the things that I love the most is that once you take the CD from one of these, there is artwork on it. I absolutely love this. So well done. I absolutely love the posters from the original films. They're so creepy. I love this. This is the reason why physical media will always, always win. Look how creepy that is. I love it. If you haven't watched the trilogy, the first trilogy, I absolutely recommend it. It's, uh, I also own both quarantines. I know the first one is not so much love, but the community. I 
don't like this film because it's honestly a copycat of the first one but it's fine like I'm a collector so I saw it for like a pound so I just got it and the sequel which not many film knew that quarantine had a sequel and yes here it is it's called Terminal it's very very cheesy but I actually like that it took a different term from Rec 2 and that is not like it's pretty unique it's pretty independent it's very very um low budget so if you're into like low budget films and the practical effects are actually cool the storyline was actually entertaining like if you like airplanes films i think you're gonna like this i also have both unfriended films and i think dark web it deserves so much mad love and in popular opinion i prefer dark web than the original Real or not 47 meters down both mirrors and yes yes you read it right Mirrors has a sequel and I don't know if you knew this, I actually watched this film when it came out, I was like 9, it's very gore, oh my god what is this, oh my god, who is that, I had no idea this poster was in Mirrors, so I guess I have a poster and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I actually only own the, these three films but I don't mind because they are the only ones that I like. I like the Netflix film, but of course that film will never have a physical media release, so that's fine. Both wrong term films, the only ones that I like apart from the remake, I don't like the rest of the franchise, I'm not looking forward to own those. I might cover this franchise in the future, but that's something that people will really wanna want to see because it's not something that I look forward to rewatch. I also own both I Know What You Did Last Summer, The Blair Witch, this one and the first non-horror movie of the day Fight Club and there we go this film I actually haven't seen this film but I just saw this for 50p for 50 80p and this is like collector's editions this looks absolutely insane this looks beautiful the artwork is amazing so many posters look at the CDs I absolutely love them, it's beautiful, I'm so excited to watch this film, it's really well loved by the community, like the film lovers community, so I'm so excited to watch Fight Club, I love this design, I'm so happy I own this and that I found it for such a cheap price, absolutely beautiful. And the last film from this show is 30 Days of Night, I love this film, this is actually my favorite winter horror film. Almost ending with the first shelf from my collection. We have more films, so we have Seven, It Follows, Frozen, Silent Hill, Mother. I actually have never, like I've watched this film, but I honestly don't remember it so well. So do that what you will do. I'm scared to rewatch it because I don't remember anything about it. We have Jennifer's Body, Icon, The Mist, Dreamcatcher, Super Super Underrated. Donnie Darko, I actually have never watched it, but I saw the DVD, so I just decided to get it. Julia's Eye, which I think is hugely, hugely underrated. It's a foreign film, and as you can see, it's by Guillermo del Toro. So if you like him, definitely give it a go. I think it's, the concept is pretty unique for his time. I'm just gonna put this here because I'm not gonna struggle. We also have another Spanish film, Mama. We also have The Decent. I don't own the sequel because I just haven't seen it. So I also own P2, given by my boyfriend. He hates this film. I have never watched it, honestly. I'm really curious about it and why does he hate it so much. And Orphan and An Nightmare on Elm Street. So that's this shot. And these little babies right here are like the non-horror films, some of them of course. So of course we have the gay icon film Mean Girls. We also have Wild Child and yes, Emma Roberts is stars in this film, so <laughs> that's pretty unique. And we also have some of the other Fast and Furious films, so I have some of them Blu-ray. This is the first trilogy on DVD, the Narnia trilogy. I love this film so much. I think it's they are one of my favorite non-horror movies ever. Knowing the impossible Kill Bill films, I have actually haven't rewatched it since like forever, so I honestly don't remember them so well. Scary movie franchise, I'm not sure if I wanna keep this franchise because I rewatched them like let's say a year ago and absolutely terrible, absolutely disgusting joke, so I don't know if I wanna keep those films. <laughs> Jurassic Park, this is actually the only Jurassic Park from the first trilogy, the original trilogy that I own 
Project X, super super fun film, prestige, celular, this film is iconic. Like, look at that cast, that's Chris Evans, yes, you heard me right, absolutely iconic, like this film, I've watched this film so many times, this is such a Sunday film. So we're gonna start with the second bookshelf from my collection, this is the last one, so we're gonna start from top to bottom. This is one of my favorite areas from my collection because it's about the steel books and the box sets. So as you can see, I own the whole X-Men collection. One of my favorites, let's, they're not superheroes, but like kind of action films, kind of superhero. So I love all of them. As you can see, they are Blu-rays. I love this film so, so much. I think they deserve so much more, but unfortunately because of Marvel, people keep forgetting that the X-Men came first. <laughs> now, this is my favorite item from my collection. This is an Arrow video. This item was so rare to come out because this is the whole Yuhon the Crash franchise, the original from Japan. I love this franchise so so much because I just found it so creepy. I love all of the Blu-rays. So let me show you pretty quickly some of them because they're, I think they're so so well done, so unique and the bookshelf came out with this mini book and it tells you the story of the movie, some fun facts, so imagery these films are so horrific like they, they might not be the scariest films ever but because of the imagery I think they're so unique I love this franchise so so much and the first film is on 4k so this is the first 4k that you will see on this video and one thing that I find pretty unique from these movies is that they have some books, some pictures about the film and also we have the Blu-ray and the 4K and it's the same with uh, the other films so the other films are on Blu-ray and they have double poster and as you can see some of the pictures from the film and they are pretty horrific and some, as you can see, I absolutely love it. I will post a picture of my Instagram about it. And the other films are basically the same, just different, obviously, because they are different films. So they come with different pictures, different posters. I absolutely love it. Like, that's, like I'm so happy I own this. Even though it was quite pricey, but it was worth it. Like, if you have never watched this franchise, like, look at this. Super iconic. We love her. And I can't wait to rewatch this film. Maybe I will do a deep dive about this franchise because I actually don't see many people talking about it. And it's quite sad because it's like one of the first franchises that started in horror. Like, look at that. I love these pictures. And again, I love the art design. I think I'm so happy Arrow Video released this because absolutely iconic. So let's go over the steel books, even though you have seen them, but you haven't seen the front cover. So the newest is Cream Film. I love this so, so much. Absolutely iconic. I really like this film. Maybe it's not the strongest film from the franchise, but I just love how gory it is. I like the silly line and I love this art design from the steel book. So I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. The next steel book will be Train to Busan, Peninsula. And uh, this film came out in 2020 and I think people forgot about it because of that. And this steel book is gorgeous. I love it. I like this film. I might do a comparison to the first one from 2016. And I'm just so happy that I managed to get this steel book because the artwork is insane. The other, the next non-horror steel books that I own is Hunger Games and the first one and this is Mockingjay the first part I really like the Hunger Games they're like one of my favorites non-horror franchise and I'm so excited for the new one to come out I can't wait to do a marathon and maybe do a ranking because I just love this franchise now this is the Forever Purge steel book I love this steel book so done much it's beautiful I'm so happy that I own it because this was a limited edition. So I'm so happy that it's part of my collection. It's beautiful, 4K and Blu-ray. 
I really like this film, I can't wait to rewatch and maybe do a deep dive from this franchise because I think it deserves so much more. I think it's one of the most unique franchise ever because it really critiques society, America, the world, everyone. And I think it deserves so much more recognition. And speaking of The Purge Anarchy, the sequel, this steelbook is insane. I love steelbooks so damn much. And another film that I really love, I can't wait to do my ranking. Now this film, this steel book is called Reminence. This is a non-horror, but it stars Huge Jackman and we love him, he's an icon. And yeah, I can't wait to watch this film. I have never watched it, but my boyfriend said it's amazing, so I believe him. I can't wait to rewatch, and I just love that steel book because it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, so anything to own physical media. Now this film, Source Code, I actually have never seen this, but come on, if he is there, it has to be good. And also, Icon Vera Farmiga is on this film, so the, like I had to get this steel book, so I can't wait to watch this film. The other one will be Ten Cloverfield Lane, the one from 2016, 2018, with Icon Mary Elizabeth. I really like this film, I think it's a very unique for it to be one location, the plot twist, you don't see it coming. The villain I think is very underrated and if you haven't watched this, I really 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 recommend it. Another 4K that I own, Venom. I think the Venom films, they deserve better, especially the first one because they are, the practical effects they were quite cool, the CGI is quite cool, so it deserves more. I'm Tom Hardy, come on, Tom Hardy. And some DVD steel books in case you didn't know. We have 2012. Um, yeah, DVDs come with steel books too. I honestly didn't know, but I'm really happy that I own this kind of steel books because I really like steel books because they have such a unique physical media design. We need to talk about Kevin. I have never watched this film, but again, I saw the steel book, so I had to get it, and it was for a really cheap price. Hancock, like, come on, this film is so cheesy, but. I love it and honestly, main reason why I go this is because it's beautiful, so many special features and with the, it's with the icon Charlize Theron, we love her, she's beautiful and I can't wait, I can't wait to rewatch this. And this is one of my favorite steel books that I own too because this is called Turistas, it's from the 20s, 2007, it's also called Paradise Lost. And this steel book, I just love it because I did not expect to own this film on steel book. You see, part of it lost, but I do, and I'm just so thankful. And I also got this in Turkey, and we were just searching around, and out of nowhere, we saw this. As you can see, this is Turkish. I don't know what it says, but we will try to translate in the future. <laughs> And this box set, this is not a steel book, but it's a box set about the first three Hellraiser films. Hellraiser has become one of my favorite films, at least the original. And fun fact, I have watched the whole franchise, so I will be doing a deep dive, like talking about the franchise, ranking it. So I'm so excited for that, and I'm so excited that I got these films because they have a lot of special features on it. This is the sequel. And the third one. The third one is so underrated. I love the third one so much because it's like a 90s slasher. And look at, at the amount of special features, which is perfect for my videos. I can't wait to start working on that one. So as you can see, we're gonna start talking about the Blu-rays, some of the Blu-rays that I own. So these are the first part of the Blu-rays. So as you can see, I own one of the most hated M. Night films, and I don't know why. I have seen this like once, I don't remember it, but I think this is one of his very own films, so I can't wait to see what the hate is about. I have this gay film, queer film, I actually haven't seen this, but because of the synopsis, it's about two gay characters, two gay leads. I will always support queer films that stars with gay characters, uh, I'm so excited to watch this. We have, we also, I also owned 
but it's buddies buddies and yes i also own underwater and i'm so excited to own oh my god i'm so excited to own this film because i honestly didn't know this film had a physical media release but i was going through amazon and i just saw it i got this in amazon from spain this is one of my favorites 2020 films and I think not many people have watched this and it has a lot of special features that I cannot even mention and I'm so excited because I honestly really like this film and I'm so happy that it has a physical media release because I thought it was gonna just get into streaming forever so I'm so happy that it's part of me it stars the Queen Christine Stewart so if you haven't watched this and if you are into Aliens you will love this film we also have Watcher, one of the newest films from last year. This is like actually my favorite 2020 release. So I'm so happy that I got a physical media release because I thought it was gonna just go into streaming. So I'm just so happy that it has and it has some special features like audio commentary, which I love. So I'm so happy that it's part of my collection now. And we also have this film, which I actually haven't seen. I don't know when I'm gonna watch it, but I promise I will. I Saw the Devil, another film that I haven't seen, but it's like one of the most popular Asian horror films. So I'm so excited to give this a go. This was included in the Shadow series, the 101 Scariest Moments in Horror, and they included two moments from this film. So that's the main reason why I wanted to get this. We also have Hannibal, which believe it or not, I haven't seen. I'm so happy that I own Hunt because one of my favorites from 2018, I think it's is hugely, hugely underrated. This was gotten in Amazon and it, it has a few special features and I'm so happy because I didn't think this film was going to get a physical media release because it's a Shutter original, it's a Prime original, so I honestly didn't expect that. So as soon as this got a physical media release, I had to get it. You also have Pride, which I haven't seen, Evil Dead, Midsummer, which as you can see is unopened. And I don't know why, honestly, maybe I will open it once I watch it. And this is the director's cut, so this is like a three hours edition. I actually haven't seen the director's cut. I've seen Midsummer, of course, I love it, one of my favorite psychological horror. But I just haven't seen the director's cut, so I'm really excited about it. The Aptosy of Jane Dawn and Resurrection, a 2022 film that not many people talk about and it stars the Queen Rebecca Hall. I think this is a great psychological horror. I honestly don't know why people hated this film. I think I love the gore, I love the storyline, I think it was pretty rich. I love the acting from Rebecca Hall, she has one of the most iconic monologues in horror. Yes, I said it. She has a monologue for like 8 minutes straight and she did a fantastic job. Kamara work is insane. I really like this film. I wish more people would talk about it. And also one of my most unique items is Till Death. The Megan Fox film that came out in 2022, like her comeback into cinema, into horror. I didn't expect this film to get a physical media release and I think I got this from German if I'm not too sure and yes I'm really excited that this film got a physical media release because I actually like this film it's not the best film ever but it's pretty entertaining it's a winter film Megan Fox did a good job like she saves this film so I'm just happy that I can own it and rewatch it I also have both of John Wick films I need to own the second one and the new one I haven't seen this franchise but many people tell me that I would like it so I just got it because they were such a good prices for these films. We also have this masterpiece. For now this is my favorite 2022 film, 2023 sorry. I love Knock at the Cabin. I will always love this film, I will always defend it. I think it's one of the richest films from the year. People are hating this film and honestly I don't care what people say about this film. I love this film so much. M. Night really did this. My favorite director of all time really made a film with two gay characters. So smoothly, so normal, beautiful family. I love watching this film. I cried a lot. I just love this film. I'm so thankful that I own it, that I can rewatch it whenever I want. 
and please if you haven't watched this please go and do and this is for now my favorite 2023 release another 2023 release is the icon herself megan i love this film so much i think it was such a fun time and yes i like i've watched this film like three times megan is an icon and but i actually haven't seen this version which is called unseen edition includes more blood more violence and more megan so i'm sold i love the design that is pink and black the slip cover so beautiful and please please don't 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 okay last night in soho my favorite 2021 one of my favorites sorry my second favorite 2021 movie absolutely iconic anna taylor is amazing i did a blog with this blu-ray where i visited the locations from this film because this film was filmed in london i live in london so i went around the city to see the locations where this movie took place uh, we also have on this side of the collection we have mortal kombat we have more x-men films the joker and yep Ninja Turtles, uh, such a guilty pleasure this film, Joker, super 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 creepy, disturbing, one of my favorite psychologicals, and yes for me this film is horror, I don't know why people don't consider this film horror, this is pure pure psychological horror, I love this film, it makes me cry a lot, and it really, like it really plays and messes up with my head when I watch this, so I don't really rewatch this so often, it's a masterpiece, it's a five stars film. So in this part of the collection we have a lot of sleep covers. So as you can see this part of the collection is only about the sleep covers. I really like Blu-rays when they have sleep covers because it's pretty unique. So as you can see we have A Quiet Place part 2. I love that film. Life of P. Uh, I got this film for like 20p so <laughs> I had to get it. I loved this kind of design because it like plays around. I haven't watched this film for ages, but I'm just so excited to rewatch. Please see, yeah. Candyman 2021, one of my favorites from that year. Fast and Furious 9, again, more Fast and Furious films. Fast and Furious 6, Fast and Furious 8. Wreck, this is the fourth installment in the franchise. Don't mind this, I hate when stickers do this. I actually haven't seen this film but because I own the first two and I have watched the third one I still need to own that one I said why not um, this is a must own so I'm really happy that I own it I think this is the same actress from Mama from 2013 and it has a few special features over two hours of a special feature so I'm really excited I think this film takes place on a boat so I'm just quite curious to see what it's about so as you can see one of my favorites from last year 2022 bones and all blu-ray and dvd i think more movies should do these blu-rays and dvds on the same place i love this film what can i say i think let's see blu-ray dvd i really like this film i think the romance was very natural I like the metaphors, especially from her. I love the practical effects, the storyline. Oops, the price, 15 pounds. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the bones and all. Please don't do anything crazy, please. There we go. Bluebirds, Gonger, um, yeah, special edition of Gonger, Scream, Old, Hunger's Game Part 2, Conjuring, Halloween Kills, The Babadook, Wrong Turn, um, fun fact about Wrong Turn is that this is like the first Blu-ray that I bought because this came out when we were in lockdown and unfortunately this movie got affected by the pandemic so it didn't get a theatrical release so they just sent it directly to physical media which I'm really thankful and this was hella hella expensive because it was just when movie shops were opening and I got this for £25 <laughs> But I don't regret it because I loved it. So I'm just was I was really looking forward to own this. And don't ask me why, but I owned the two Batman's films. 
The Slumber Party Massacre, the remake. I hated this film the first time, but after a few watches, I absolutely love this film. I think it's the sarcastic elements work perfectly. The cast is so friendly, and I just like the kills, the gore, quite iconic. Now, these two films, I really liked. There we go, there we go. These two films, I have never watched them, but these slipcovers, they're quite unique, as you can see. As you can see, it moves. Whoa, whoa. And this one too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I have never watched them, but I'm just curious about them. People have talked so much about these films. I'm really curious. Nobody has talked about this, but because of the sleep cover and because it was like a pound, I decided to get it. So I'm really curious. Super fun of these kind of sleep covers. I hope more movies will do this. So as you can see, we have more Blu-rays. So we have, for example, The Fly. I did a whole film analysis about this film because this is one of the most unique and this is like one of the mothers of horror, body horror. So if you haven't watched that video, I really recommend it. I'm really proud of it. It was from my uni. So I would really recommend you watch that video and watch this film. And I also own Fall. One of the 2022 films, one of my favorites, theatrical and uncut version, but honestly not so much difference. I really like this film, I included this in my previous video, which is One Location Film, so I would recommend to watch that video so you can discover more One Location Films. I also own this controversial film, Green Inferno. I actually like this film because I just love the gore on it. I like the storyline, I think it was very disturbing because imagine if that happens to you. I understand the controversy behind this film and I actually like uh, the art cover from the poster. So I will recommend this at least once in your lifetime. We also have Brightburn, which I actually enjoy. I think I really like the turn that it took in superhero films. We have obviously the iconic trilogy of Unbreakable, Split and Glass. More X-Men films, Happy Day Day 2, the sequel, the Scream films, Orphan, the sequel, the new film, We Love Her, Esther is an Icon, uh, I did a comparison to the original, which is my loved, my most loved video on the channel, so I'm really thankful that it's about two films that I love, and also we have Terrifier, both films, so I'm so happy that I own them, I think even though they are not the best films, I just like the practical effects and the gore and obviously Art Clown, he's an icon, so the first one and the second one. I honestly, this are such a rewatch as every Halloween season, so, and I'm excited for the third one. Let's see what they do with that film though. And also Hellraiser, as you can see, I own it on Blu-ray too, like you can never get enough of this film. Iconic, one of my favorite 80s films. And almost ended the video, we have this part of the collection, so you can, you can see In Time Hellfest, which I'm really happy that I own this because, again, I did not expect this to have a physical media release, so I'm really happy that I own this. I think it's from the same place that I got Hunt. Also, we have Power Rangers, uh, The Greatest Showman, a gift from my boyfriend because it's one of his favorite films of all time so he gave it to me we have atomic loan we have this is probably one of the most maybe top two top three most disturbing films ever if you haven't watched this film please go on to you but please be reminded that this is hella hella disturbing and it have a few special features i don't really rewatch this film but because i'm a physical media collector i saw it and I decided, I decided to get it because eventually I would like to rewatch this film, maybe talk about it on my channel, on my most disturbing films upcoming video. So even though I don't rewatch this so much, I just decided to get it because I'm just a physical media collector, so why not? Speaking of disturbing films, Hostel is another disturbing film that I think it deserves more because people just compare it to so, but they are so different. I know the controversy, but honestly, I think people are way too harsh on this film. 
I can't wait to talk about this franchise even though I hate the third film but I think the first two Hostel films are actually quite worth it and I just can't wait to talk about them I think they're very disturbing they really make me scared of going abroad even though I love traveling but you just don't never know and I think Hostel, Hostel 1 and Hostel 2 really prove why when you go abroad you just can't trust anyone and we also have The Conjuring 2 on Blu-ray is the only Conjuring film on Blu-ray that I own apart from DVDs because my boyfriend has the rest of the franchise on Blu-ray and he gave me this so this is basically how you say The Conjuring 2 in Turkish so here we go, here we go with the lesson and also we have Prom Night, Ghost Stories, a British film yes I know I own this, three those are there what can I say? The Shallows, absolutely, I love this film, one of my favorite summer ones. We have the whole Paranormal Activity movies on Blu-ray, including the newest from 2021. As you can see, it's Alegados, because I got this in Amazon Spain. I honestly am so happy that this movie got a physical media release, because I knew that it only got released on the box set from Paranormal Activity, but apparently they also got them individually so I, that's why i managed to get this because i already owned this franchise so it didn't make sense for me to get the box set so when i saw this movie individually i was so excited because i think this movie is super super underrated because it just it takes a different turn from the paranormal activity franchise and i think that's why i really really liked it and to conclude the video this is the last part of my whole collection so this is like non-horror or some horror that i just couldn't find space and also a funko pop and <laughs> signed by the wrestler i don't know if you know who he is so we have the screen box set dvds because i just like collecting movies in different versions and because mostly for the special features Devil an M9 film that I actually haven't seen but because it was written by M9 I'm just curious Ouija Vampire Sack which I haven't seen this film since it came out so I don't remember what kind of jokes they have Poseidon The Notebook the iconic gay film The Devil Wears Prada super iconic and we also have Herbie uh, I don't know why crazy which i watched this with my boyfriend and it was amazing super super iconic such an underrated queer film and this i don't know why i own that i have never watched it i just know that it's gonna be super straight but Cameron Diaz she's a, such a comedic actress i think just she's the main reason why i got it so that was it that was my tour those were the movies that i own i really hope you enjoyed that tour and if you have any collector's videos that from your channel or that you know that i will be interested please let me know in the comment section below i really hope you have a nice end of the week and i will see you soon bye bye